Genomic DNA Extraction Kit provides a quick, simple, and less toxic method for isolating DNA from different types of biological samples. Extracted DNA is free of contaminants and is suitable for downstream applications like PCR, restriction enzyme digestion, cloning, and sequencing. DNA extraction kits employ silica-based technology which allows the negatively charged DNA to bind to the silica membrane embedded in the spin column in the presence of high chaotropic salts. The objectives of this activity are to learn DNA extraction using DNA extraction kit and to describe the principle behind solid base extraction method. The materials include bacterial culture in broad media, 1.5 ml microcentrifuge tubes or Eppendorp tubes, microcentrifuge tube rocks, refrigerated centrifuge, micropipettes and pipette tips, ice bucket, lysozyme, RNAs A, proteinase K, 95 to 100 percent ethanol, and DNA extraction kit. GDNA extraction using commercial kit involves seven steps. One, cell collection, two, cell resuspension, three, cell lysis, four, preparation of spin column, five, binding of DNA to column, six, washing of DNA bound to the column, and seven, elution of extracted DNA. For step one, Collect 1.5 ml of bacterial broth culture in microcentrifuge tubes and centrifuge at 12,000 G for 2 minutes. After centrifugation, discard the supernatant. For step 2, if working with the gram negative bacteria, resuspend cell pellet in 180 microlit lysis solution. Step 2 for gram-positive bacteria, uh, resuspend the cell pellet in 200 microlit lysozyme solution and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Lysozyme will enhance the lysis of the bacterial cell wall by hydrolyzing the thick peptidoglycan layer in gram-positive bacteria. For step 3, add 20 microlit proteinase K to, to the cell suspension, vortex or pipette to mix. Incubate at 55 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. This will degrade any contaminating proteins from the extract. It will also deactivate RNases and DNases that would degrade the DNA. For step 4, add 500 microlit of the column preparation solution to each binding column. Centrifuge at 12,000 G for one minute. Discard the flow through. For step five, add 200 microlit ethanol to the lysed cells, vortex or mix by inversion. DNA is insoluble in alcohol and thus will allow the DNA to precipitate. Transfer ethanol mixture to the binding column. Centrifuge at 6,500 G for one minute. For step six, transfer the column into a new collection tube. Add 500 microlit wash solution to the column. Centrifuge at 6,500 G for one minute. Transfer the column to a new collection tube and add 500 microlit wash solution. Concentrate to the column. Centrifuge at 12,000 G for three minutes to dry the column. For the final step, transfer the column to a new collection tube. Add 200 microlit of elution solution. 
centrifuge at 6,500 G for 1 minute. This will release the DNA bound in the silica column in the collection tube. Store G-DNA in 4, negative 20 or negative 80 degrees Celsius.
This result shows gDNA extracted from three bacterial species using DNA extraction kit. Lane 1 and 2 is from Escherichia coli. Lane 3 and 4 is from Bacillus cereus. And lane 5 and 6 is from Micrococcus luteus. There is no visible gDNA degradation and contamination which suggests high quality DNA.